we're going to do, uh, well, basically as much as we can, hopefully 50 minutes, given um, my kids are out <laughs> with my husband and I'm on borrowed time. So let's do a nice active flow practice of yoga. We'll start with our feet together, starting in mountain pose. Bring your arms along your side. Bring your posture so it's tall. And feel the ground under your feet. So feel the earth connect downward. And we'll focus on our breath. So with our breathing, we'll look for a quality of a graceful, smooth, even tone on the inhale and the exhale. So draw in through your nose and out through your nose. Even, smooth, graceful. Taking your time, feel the breath. Begin to feel the breath as it moves down into the base of your abdomen and it begins to rise up through the belly, rib cage, chest. We pause and we release the breath out. Let's do that five more times. One is an inhale and an exhale. So count your own five. begin to breathe in and rotate our palms outwards. Feel as if you're bringing your chest towards the sky and breathe into the heart space here. So receive the breath into your heart. And as you breathe out, you turn your hands back in and you feel almost the sense of letting this chest retreat back into itself. So we'll repeat that for five breaths. Breathing in, rotate your palms out, open your heart, shift your gaze up, pause, breathe out, dip your chin down, turn your palms inwards, and gaze down. Let's count through four more. maintained the same quality of breath, smooth, even, graceful. One more time. We hear all the sounds of everyone around us. Okay, so we'll breathe in, open up our hands, and we'll reach our hands up. It's as if we're going to clap above us. Hands press. Exhale. Arms back down to your side. Breathe in. Lift. Look. Stretch. Breathe out. Reach. It's almost like you're pushing your hands into 
weight. Okay, then let's do three more. One more. I'm going to come into a natural breath and just go over something very briefly with what we just did. Something that helps me stabilize the sun salutation, which is what we just did, is to feel your feet grounding into the earth. You feel with your feet together, you feel the sense that there's this drawing inward of your legs. The legs draw in towards one another. Okay, without force, right? Strength, grounding. It's this inward uh, rotation. And from that, my torso can rise up without feeling unstable. So we'll do three breaths. So inhale, exhale is one breath. And we'll get a sense for the base of our body supporting the balance because okay, it is a balance. If you were to close your eyes, you'd feel wobbly. Okay, <clears throat> standing with your feet together isn't necessarily an easy thing to do. Okay, so the heels, the outer edges of the feet, the knuckles of the toes, even the toes are engaged into the earth. The legs want to create one force drawing in. Okay, the hips have the sense that they're sucking in. And then the torso can lift. So let's try that. Ground your legs, start with the feet. Feel the feet engaged, feel the legs drawing in. Okay, and then as you breathe in, the arms float freely like wings. So let's do three of these, breathe in and out. Same smooth, even tone of breath. Breathe in, reach and lengthen. it out and notice does that feel different last time okay good so I'm going to just change my view to the side so I'm facing the short end of my mat I'm towards the top of my mat with room behind me okay. my feet are together and my posture is tall so heels hips shoulders in line, back of the head. Okay, ground your feet, feel that sense the legs are drawing together, and for one, we'll reach out and up. Okay, looking up. Breathe out, the thigh down, soften your knees, reach the floor, so bring your fingertips to the floor, so you might be here, that's okay. Wherever it takes you to bring your fingertips to the floor, okay? And then use the fingers into the floor to start to straighten your leg. And we'll uh, give the backs of the legs a nice stretch. Bending your knees one at a time. Check in with your shoulders. Now if you're trying too hard, if you're tense in the back of the legs, you're trying to come too forward, your shoulders are gonna tell you, they're gonna be here. Whew, so you notice that. Free up your shoulders. Roll them. Turn your head from side to side. Okay, and then we'll stabilize our legs. So that might be knees bent. Maybe legs are straight. Drop the top of your head down. Bring your hands along uh, onto the floor. Okay, and then from here, I'm going to squeeze my legs together, get that sense they're drawing in, and come up with a flat back. So arms out, come up, breathe in. We're gonna come right back down, breathing in, breathing out. Okay, I'm gonna breathe in and look forward sit down into my invisible chair behind me with my legs pressing together. 
and then use your fingers and pull yourself in. Chin comes to your throat, you see that? Chin to throat. Breathe in, sit down, the weight's in my heels. Use my, I'm using my fingers as I breathe out to pull in. Notice the shoulders. Let's do a couple more of those. Breathe in, look forwards, sit back. The legs are drawing together. Okay, breathe out. I'm wrapping in, I'm like a snail wrapping into the shell. Breathe in, I'm unwrapping. Okay, heart shining. Nice space, fingertips to the floor, fold in. I feel like I want to do something with my shoulders here. So let's interlace. Okay, if that's not accessible, there's always the opposite elbow grab, okay? So you might be tight in the back of the legs. Bent knees is totally fine. You're going to work towards eventually the straightening of your the leg straightening. Bring your hands to interlace. Drop the top of your head down and reach your hands up and over the shoulders. And make the figure eight with your head so you can find if you're not moving you're stiff you might be here once you start moving oh it's more open feel that settle into a space that feels nice and creative and open and breathe there okay we're all gonna soften our knees I'm gonna release my hands bring them to my mat. Okay, with my left leg starting, I'm gonna step it back to a long lunge. I'm gonna drop my back knee. Okay, I'll keep my toes tucked under on the back foot. Okay, so <clears throat> we're gonna feel this sense that the feet are moving in that direction. Okay, so feet push into the floor. And you see the, the softness on my knee. My knee's not resting, pushing into the floor. The feet feel like they're going to rip my mat in half, okay? And I'm going to punch up and release my fingers out and feel like I'm here. Okay, as I breathe out, I'm going to fold and reach back. And breathe in, open up your heart, look up. Okay, as I'm breathing out, the sense is the feet pull back together. My knee is on the floor. Maybe the knee wants to come up. It will. Does it feel ready to do that? But I'm dropping it here on the breath out. We're going to repeat this a few more times. Interlace your fingers, reach them back, okay, and then maybe you breathe in, stay here, but lift the back knee up. Breathe out lower. Breathe in, lengthen through the back of the heel and the head. I'll look towards the front edge of my mat. And lower. Okay, one more of those. Bring your fingers onto the floor, frame your front foot. Now, <clears throat> we'll do these little leg lifts, so I'm feeling like I'm gonna spring my back foot off the floor, which I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come up, and I'm looking under my body, and then I'm gonna lower that foot down and bend the knee. Okay, you're gonna feel that nice sort of playful quality here. Now you can start to move your hands under your shoulders. Okay, you want to feel a little bit playful here. While well, your front hip might be screaming. I call it the Janice Joplin front hip. There it is. You let her do her full wail. Okay, so go with it. Okay, let's do 
do one more. Spring up, keep the foot lifted. Keep it lifted. You can work towards starting to straighten this. Your hands are under your shoulders or a little bit forward of your shoulders. And you lift your back heel up. And then we'll slide that foot in. Bring both feet together. Take a frog. Bounce your bum. Boing, boing, boing pose. And then let's fold in, take a little interlace, work the shoulders, drop the top of your head down. Feel like you're lengthening your hips up. You feel that. Okay. Soften your knees. Come through to standing. same thing with the left foot in front okay so start with your feet together feel the earth under your feet draw into it and sense the legs become one unit and they're strong and stable okay and not rigid okay we need movement rotation happening grounding feel all that in the legs so the feet have to be well connected right and then we'll rotate, uh, sorry, bring your hands along your sides, open your chest and breathe in. Oh, now it can be here. You do what's right for your body. If you're forcing this, it looks like this, if you're tight in the back of the legs, which isn't, isn't gonna bring you anywhere closer to being uh, flexible. So soften into flexibility. So breathe into the hardened spaces, and that's what will bring you flexibility. Okay, so look forwards. This time the right foot steps back. And you wanna go back as comfortably as you can, but quite long. Drop the back knee down. Okay, get a sense for your feet, how they feel. Okay, coming up slightly. Now you wanna feel, as you breathe in, you're feeling like your feet move in that direction. Okay, like this. As you breathe out, the feet want to pull back together. So the legs plug into their hips. Okay, so breathe in, rip the mat in half, breathe out, scrunch the mat together, hips draw in. Okay, so coming with your chest forwards, breathe in, feel like the mat's ripping in half here. Ripping in half, right? Breathe in. Okay, draw the legs in towards their hip and breathe out. Reach back. I'm looking right at my big toe. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. Repeat this three more three more times. Three more breaths. Try that leg lift on the back. If it's there, it'll come. Breathe in, back knee lifts. And the legs are strongly moving in that direction. Through the feet. Breathe out, drop your back knee. Reach. Breathe in. Spiral up, open up. One more. Fingertips to the ground. Okay, we're going to start with that. Um, it's called standing splits, which sounds a little scary. So, just looking back under your body, you want to lift that back foot up. So it's quite interesting here is the front body has to move forward in order to take that back leg up safely. So you notice your shift 
with a shift in your weight forwards. My hands are off my mat now. And then you bend your standing leg until that back foot safely on the floor. So there's nothing risky here. You're feeling the opening in this front hip. Repeat that a few more times till Janice starts to hit her notes. Cry, baby. A good one for the hip. And I find humor gets us through the tears. <laughs> okay, let's suspend that back leg up. So launch it up. Keep it lifted. Now drop weight into your hands and then the heel comes up, and then we slide it in. It finds its other foot, they wiggle together, and then we'll take a little frog. So adapt, and then let's forward fold. So the straightening the legs, we're gonna fold down and interlace. You can always take an awkward interlace, opposite index finger in front. Straighten the legs if they're if it's accessible, and the head drops to the floor. And then you soften the back of your knees, release your hands, come all the way to standing. Okay. They are singing to me good happy songs. Okay, so we're gonna add, we're gonna do similar um, poses and sequence them together. Maybe just a little bit of, of variety here. So, <coughs> show you on this side. Feet together, ground them, okay. Feel the alignment of your heels, hips, shoulders, back of the skull. Okay, feel the feet and bring your arms up. Oh, that's nice. And start breathing in, breathing out, forward, fold, down. Good. This is where you take your shape. It might look like here. Okay. Breathe in, look forward, slide your hands to your knees. And then you're going to step your left foot back into what's sometimes called a runner's lunge. Drop the back knee down. This is my left hand on the floor. I'm gonna look over my right shoulder. I'm gonna bring my fingertips, my right hand to my right shoulder. And I'm gonna encourage this collarbone to broaden here. And I can see my hand. There's my elbow. We'll rotate that arm from the elbow. Okay, so remember what we said about the feet, where the feet feel like they're gonna move opposite directions like that. Inhale, exhale. So inhale, exhale. Okay, so looking over that shoulder, bring the elbow back and then let the arm unfold out from the elbow. Okay, and I can see my hand. Good. Rotate your wrist a couple times in one direction, in the other direction. Good. Obvious drainage happening here as the arms lifted above the heart. Good. Now, as I breathe in, I feel like my back knee wants to lift up. I'm going to let it go. I'm going to reach, reach for the sky. I've got little kids. Good. And then I'm going to bring this top hand forward and drop my back knee. Exhale. My hand is like karate top hand. Okay, breathe in. Reach. Up and breathe out forward. Let's express that a little bit grander. Breathe in. Now I'm drawing the shape of a rainbow and I'm following my hand with my gaze. Breathe out. Breathe in. And out. Some of you have props at home. This bottom hand can be under a block get you a little bit more height. 
Now I'm going to keep my back knee lifted through these last three. One more time, breathing in. Good. Feel connected through the feet. Breathe out. We're bringing that hand down. Okay, I'm going to look forward. I'm in my runner's lunge. I'm going to let that back foot send it up. Let it lift. Stretch it up. Good. Bring your hands so they're under your shoulders or even a little bit forward of the shoulders. Okay, as I breathe out, I'm going to bend my standing leg and tuck my back knee into the back front knee. I'm curled into a little ball, and then I breathe in and I open up. Even my gaze comes forward. <sighs> Send the heel back and up. Send your gaze forward. Do two more. Breathe in. Lengthen. Good. Breathe in. Lengthen. Send that foot back. Look forward. And then slide this leg back in. Bring your big toes together. Drop into frog. and then start to work towards straightening the legs. And when I say that, modify to your shape. If straightening the legs is here, you're not quite there. If you're up here, you're not gonna straighten your legs. You wanna be down here. Okay, fingertips are in the floor. Let's take a nice stretch in the shoulders. Breathe in and lengthen. Sit bones up. And release your body weight down. Soften the knees, sweep your arms through, breathe in. Second side, waste no time here. Feet together, ground down, the legs draw in, the hips draw in, like you're holding onto a, a brick in between the legs. Now if you have a prop, you can bring it to the front of your mat, a brick. Sit up tall, heels aligned with hips, shoulders, back of the head. Breathe in, look up, pause, enjoy, and then send yourself into your dive. Now you soften the knees slightly, breathe in, look forwards. This time the right leg comes back. Do you see where this is? This is that same uh, standing splits. I'm always trying to call it something else because that scares people. Drop the back knee. My right hand is on my mat. If, it, if you need height, you bring a block, something rigid, right? And then this is my left shoulder. I'm going to bring the shoulder into play from the elbow. So if I use my hand, it's not the same feeling fingertips to your shoulder and bring the elbow back and let the shoulder come and have a look have a look at what's going on back there okay. you start to breathe a little bit of life within the front of your throat I'm soaking up some nice lovely sunshine okay from here now this knee's coming out hug it back in okay lift your elbow up a little bit higher and let the arm unfold out Okay, I'm hooking up, I'm blasted by sunshine. And then I'm going to breathe into that space, breathe in. See the change the shape makes when you breathe, breathe light. When I breathe out, my hand comes forwards. Lovely butterfly. Breathe in, lift up. Breathe out. The back knee lowers down for the first few your way into everything. When you feel ready, you can start
start to play around with the back knee, staying lifted. Lifting in, bigger arm. This is like the shape of a rainbow. Draw the hand forward. So feel the legs through the feet. Follow that moving hand with your gaze. The neck enjoys a stretch as well. Two more. Good, and that hand will come down to frame your front foot. And here goes that back leg. We're going to send it up so it's not scary. I can see my foot. Okay, my front body comes forward. Do you see how I'm still hovering over the ground? Just take the back leg up carefully. Hands under the shoulders are a little bit higher. Okay, it's different for everybody. Find your space. And then start to straighten that standing leg. Send that back heel up. Breathe in. Look forwards. Breathe out. Bend standing knee and tuck the back knee in. Your belly draws in and then you explode out. Breathing in. Notice your shoulders. Where are they? Two more. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Open up. Stretch. Last one. Just keep that leg lifted. Actually, let's tuck in. And then last one. We'll keep it lifted. And then slide. Up. together. Go into your frog. And then we're going to straighten our legs and take a forward fold. Straighten. My feet, big toes are together. And I'm going to lace my fingers behind me. Let the top of your head here be heavy. Okay, really heavy. And then the arms release down. They're going to sweep through. Take a reach. Good. Roll the shoulders. That's the one. Good. Okay, I think it's a nice time for a, a balance. You'll do um, tree pose, Rikshasana. Okay, this is a nice one to do with kids too. They love this pose. Okay, so they're starting to come into the scene. Tell them they have to be quiet because you'll lose your balance. Okay, so we'll start with our uh, left leg. Turn out your left leg. There's the three options here. Uh, my foot's at my ankle or my calf inner calf, right? Or you're grabbing your ankle and you're putting your foot into your adductor, right? So up high. So what you're not doing ever is putting it at your knee. Okay, please don't do that. The knee doesn't move that way. If it does, it's bad. Knee moving left and right, bad. Okay, so choose your spot. Okay, if you're coming here, now you can always be on a wall you're not keen on balances, there's no shame there. Okay, find a wall. Okay, so if I'm coming into the full tree here, I've got my heel pushing in to my inner thigh. This hip is gonna respond by pushing back. So you see, it's kicking out that way, and it won't, I'm going to encourage it to come in. So there's this driving force inward, just like when you're standing with your feet together. Drive it in, hips together. 
Okay, take your hands in prayer for now. Stabilize. You find your heel, hips, shoulders, back of the head in alignment. Pause. Now, if you're looking at something, look beyond it. Look through the wall, through the TV. Face out. Go, go far out. Okay, if you're ready to bring your arms up, I quite like a big tree. I like to reach my arms out. Explore what feels nice. Receive the balance. Receive the earth under that standing leg. into prayer and turn them back in and with grace release so I'm on quite a wobbly ground so I can feel all the different parts of my foot so give your feet a little stretch Good. and then we'll change sides so there's your options inner ankle or grab your foot, place it, breeze, place it on your inner thigh, okay? And this is where a wall might be handy if you're feeling insecure about the balance, that's fine. Don't feel insecure, just grab a wall, okay? If you're wearing slippery trousers, you can hold it in a one-legged, uh, sorry, one-handed treat. Stabilize. Feel this hip drawing back in towards that foot. So feel that creative space, inner pulling in, right? And then the rising up, isn't that lovely? Rising up, express through the fingertips. And express the grounding of that standing foot, the grounding, the earthing, and you express that out through the fingers, just like a tree, rooting. Lengthen your heart. Close it out, breathing out, graceful on your exit. Oh, walk it out. Good, nice one. Feel your feet if you need to stretch them, if they're tensed or crabbed, stretch them out. Okay, I think quite a nice day so I've chosen to do some of these standing energetic poses so what I'd like to do is do a warrior pose and uh, with um, some downward facing dog okay, so we'll start in the center of our mat with our feet together in Tadasana mountain pose so here's Tadasana with nothing happening this is like waiting in the queue, <laughs> Sainsbury's. Okay, this is not really yoga, so <clears throat> ground your feet, get a sense that the force draws between the legs, strong, the hips draw together, right? Oh, just so nice, so the earthing of your feet, the lengthening in your legs and the drawing in helps to feel that sense of rising up into the torso and the arms come to your sides, palms facing in. So we'll breathe in, bring your arms out wide. Breathe out, soften your knees, bring your fingertips to your chest. Okay, this is where you can um, hop your legs out or step them out. So if you're feeling a bit playful, you hop your legs out, sticking to my mat. You notice that I'm certainly no perfectionist and I'm not perfect. So I think it's important to show all the little imperfections in this. Um, I think I like to call this 
my type of yoga, yoga for normal people. Okay, so just be normal, be yourself. And, and feel your own body. Don't try to be someone else's body. I've turned my right toes out to the short side of the mat. You turn your right toes out. Now the left foot is pointing forward and even slightly in like one o'clock. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. I'm gonna bend this front knee. I'm gonna watch it as it comes over the toes. In fact, let's bring our hands to our hips. Okay, so you remember this. Inhale, the legs are moving that way. Exhale, they're pulling in. So you can see that I'm exaggerating. Inhale, exhale. Okay, so your hands are in your hips. The left leg is solid. The front knee is bent. Okay, the legs are strong, the feet are grounded. Okay, so <clears throat> we're going to slowly work into this warrior two, starting with our base, being strong. If the arms stay out, they get tired quickly, so work with the legs, breathe in, feel that you're gonna tear your mat in half. Lengthen, breathe out, hips. Okay, so let's breathe in and bring the arms out, palms facing up. Breathe out, bring your palms to face down. Now my gaze is right over my middle finger, my front hand. So right hand, right leg. Breathe in. And breathe out. Plug your hips in. Now find the strength and power. Warrior, right? Warrior pose, strength and powerful, but graceful, balanced. more breaths. Lengthen, inhale. Deepen, exhale. We come out on an in-breath. Breathe in, palms to your hips. Turn this toes in on that right foot. Turn your left toes to point towards the short edge of your mat. And my right foot, which is now my back leg, toes are pointing towards like 11.30. Okay, so not like that, not one o'clock. To pull the heels further back than the toes, okay? So bring that right leg, solid right leg. Hug in the hip. So feel that, that leg bone plugging into the hip. So make that connection, right? Okay, and then I like to do this. This is the inner thigh, sort of opens. Smooth it out, bend the knee over the ankle. Okay, and if you're here, that's okay too. So you work towards opening. Okay, feel the legs. So one thing to notice is the shift in the torso. So center of gravity is here, not here. This is like fencing, right? So when you come to bend that front knee, keep this here. See the difference? Bring your hands to the back sides of your legs, the outside of the legs. Breathe in. Reach your arms out, palms up. That's really sunny. Breathe out. Your palms come down. So let's pause here and breathe through it, feeling the change with every breath. Two more breaths. Inhale. 
in here. Step or hop, both feet together. I've got your hips. Come to face the front of your mat. Together, breathe in, reach up, look up, forward fold, soften your knees, now step your left leg back, drop the knee, breathe in, exhale, bring that leg up, opposite leg, comes back, breathe in. Bring both legs back, walk the legs out. And drop your knees down. Stretch back, so toes are tucked under. Elbows are straight. My chin is towards my throat. And then I'm going to lift my knees up, come into down dog. Two more breaths. Lower our knees down, bring your big toes to touch. We'll come into child's pose. Knees wide enough to bring your rib cage along your upper thighs. And we'll rest here. stretch in the hips, walk to the side, so I like to feel that I'm coming onto the side and the weight in that, that hand and then I'm pushing into the ground to send my hips the other way. change those directions. Go the other way. Wag your tail out, wag it out. And we'll come into cross legged to finish. Sit comfortably. Of 
cross-legged doesn't suit you, you, know, you can sit on a, a pillow, get a little bit more lift. Okay, we'll bring our palms to face up. We'll open up our heart. You can't help it, it's so sunny. I have to open this up and let the sun receive my heart. Good, so if you're comfortable closing your eyes, Please do so, or gaze inward with your eyes opened. Okay, connect with your breath. Send your attention in towards your heart space, which is your chest here. prayer. We'll spend a moment here. A nice healthy moment if you have it. down to receive our heart space, honor the time that we afford ourselves to have a practice, and just to check in with our own body, turn off the other frequencies, connect with yourself, your true being. Kindness, we'll breathe in generosity, and we'll breathe out peace. And we'll breathe in these positive affirmations and carry that breath into your cellular structure and, and at a molecular level, you're receiving this. This, this creative, lovely energy, and you're feeding your body with it. It's nothing but goodness. Let's touch our thumbs to our forehead at our third eye, and to our lips, and let our hands return to our heart. And let your eyes open if they're shut, and let your hands return to your legs. Thank you for joining me. Um, I hope you have a lovely experience and good luck. I'll try to send you more videos. Namaste.